everybody, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42. Welcome to Tuesday Reviews. I'm going to tell you about some stuff I liked, and actually today it's a whole lot more of did not like. Yeah, buy all this stuff myself, I try it out, I use it, and sometimes I end up not using it. And this little cute bag, a good friend of mine gave this to me for Christmas, just a little bag to put makeup and stuff in. It's a kitty, it's adorable, and it's pink. Anyway, starting with the first thing here, let me dig into my little bag of kind of doom at this point. And we'll start with this. A lot of people have been talking about the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Finish Foundation. I normally use Urban Decay, um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Just had a brain fart there. But this one, six bucks or less, a little bit less at, at Wally World. And a lot of people are liking it. I figured I'd give it a try. My general consensus, it's okay. Is it definitely worth six bucks? Yeah. Put that down. It's a liquid and boy, is it liquidy. Now I have gotten so spoiled by my Urban Decay with the pump. It's a lot less messy. You squirt it either onto your finger, onto your palette, onto your brush or your beauty blender, and you put the stuff on. This, oh no, please, wet and wild, do something about this. This is some weird paddle thing. I'm almost afraid to take it out because stuff drips off of it. It's a flat spatula kind of deal. And yeah, you have to be really careful, or I do. I'm kind of messy. I'm clumsy, especially at six o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to unscrew things and put them places. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> I've done it. I'm wearing it today. Um, it's okay. It doesn't, it, it's sort of light to medium coverage. I think it will give sort of a natural finish. This shade is not bad. They were out of most of the shades at Waller World when I went to pick it up. So I just went with it and hoped for the best. I'm one of the pale girls and this is not the palest shade. So pale girls, here's something you might want to try despite the spatulation thing in there. Wet n Wild, please put a pump on this. You know what? I'll bet you dollars to donuts. And why would anybody bet dollars to donuts? But anyway, dollars to donuts. If they were to offer a version with a pump, same exact formula and a version like this, even if it were a little bit more expensive, people would sp spend the extra 50 cents or the extra buck to have the pump. Yes, it makes that much of a difference, or at least it does to me. Does it to you? I gotta have it. I gotta have the pump. Now, will I use this again? Sure. It's small enough, unlike my Urban Decay, that the physical size of the container, um, that it fits in my bag better. My Urban Decay one is really tall, but this... It's glass, it's not cheapy plastic. The uh, top is plastic, but get, again, spatulation, no. Hmm. So you know about that. Again, from the bag of doom, kitty doom that is. Something else that eh, I didn't like. Actually, I didn't like this one at all. And normally I'm a fan of Wet n Wild. I own a lot of their stuff, I try their stuff, it's pretty awesome most of the time, but sometimes there are just some duds. This introducing dud. It is the Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. I don't know what celebrities wear in this, but it's probably no one who's really into makeup. The concealer here, I'm gonna show you, is well, if I can get it to squeeze out, it's kind of gloopy. It's thick and gummy. You see that string between there? Yuck. And it doesn't blend on me worth a flip. It also was creasy, even with using a good setting powder with it. The scent, eh, it's okay. Nothing to write home about. But now I've got all this on my hands and I've got to get it off. I didn't like the way it wore on me. If it works for you, fabulous. Um, I got kind of creasy, crepey places under my eyes and this just made it go, yo, wrinkles, here we are. I don't want to say, yo, wrinkles, here we are. All my, my wrinkles to go to hell. Um, so no, I'm probably not even going to wear this. This will probably get chucked unless I know somebody who can use it. Since it's a squeezy tube, it's not like you're getting it all nasty. Good friend, I would share and go, hey, if this works for you, 
have at it. Yeah, had to wipe my hands off. Bleh. Back to the kitty bag of doom. <laughs> oh, oh, this poor thing. I had such high hopes for them. Isn't it pretty? Colorful, interesting package design, kind of a squishy sort of pseudo leather at top. Little blingy sparkly things here, colorful pans in there. Don't get your hopes up, honey. This is Hard Candy. And I'm going to read this. Top 10 Trendsetters Eyeshadow Collection. And this is the group called Aphrodisia. I don't know what trends they think they're setting with this. Trends in fallout. Trends in low pigmentation. Trends in craptacularness. I spent $6 on this. And I think they should pay me back $12 for dealing with it. Really, it's just yucky. I can get it open. I tried wearing this earlier today. Now this is a different makeup look than I had on earlier uh, because I just couldn't deal with it anymore. Yes, it's that bad. But like I said, <clears throat> the colors, boy, they're pretty in the pan. But uh, don't get your hopes up. Now to be fair, I did find one color that I really, really liked. And that's this little guy over here, this little tealish blue one. Look at that. High hopes, right? Yeah, only if you're using your finger to pick it up. Use a brush, you got nothing. And also I'm going to show you here. Let's uh, do a little swatchability here. Meow. Oh, and look, it's almost gone. And look, a little blending and I'm barely touching my hand and it's just gone. Now, another test, the brush. One of my old Mary Kay kind of floofy little travel brushes. I use it all the time. I'm going to dip it in there. Fallout City, but not the worst one. Whoa. Get my hand here. There's just nothing there. I've picked up as much as I could and you just got the littlest line out of that really bright color. The best way I found, and you kind of have to pack it and play with it and fiddle with it, is to use these goofy little sponge applicators they give you. This reminds me of putting on makeup when I was 11 years old, these little sponge applicators. You can see there's a bunch on there because I really tried using it today. I'm going to swipe across it again with the sponge applicator. Really pack it on there, but oops, you start trying to pack it on there. And it kind of crumbles and starts falling apart. All right, back to the hand. You got a little bit better coverage there. It's very choppy though, uneven, and it just kind of flakes off and then you go to just a light blend and boom, it's gone. This is not the worst of the lot though. Most of the colors are a lot like that one. Most of them not even that pigmented. But the worst, the absolute worst, is this white color. I'm always looking for white colors to, to do a highlight with. I'm really pale. I can do a highlight with white and not just have to use some kind of a semi-light color. Let's try first wiping off so that I can use that hand again. Now, it did leave a little bit of a blue stain on my hand, but you can't tell much different than the blue veins, so it's okay. Now the white. No, no, no. I'm going to try first with the finger. Yes, I'm going to give it the finger. Huh. There's the light. There it is. Ew. You see all that fallout in there just from touching it? It looks like blackboard chalk. Look at it fall off my finger. That's terrible. I don't say most things are terrible. I give things a shot. Okay. This? No. I'll put my brush in there and you see how it just starts falling apart. And I have white all over the black and everything. Let's just give this a little, oh boy, you think you're going to get something, right? It floofs right off. It's almost like loose powder, but crappy loose powder. And it's gone. Really? Now we'll try it with the uh, lovely boutique or something sponge applicator. Now when I did this this morning, I was like, holy cannoli.
it's just, look, it's really packed on there because it falls apart when you touch it. Nothing. Just that little blob and then it kind of smears and then you go like this. Oh, a good bit of it comes right off. Just blowing it off like that. Nobody wants that. I love the compact, the design of it. Please, somebody who knows how to make eyeshadow, put out a compact with this little design. The size is great. It's got a little mirror in it, you know, you can, just big enough to do your eyes with. I thought, wow, that's gonna be cool. And then it sucked. This one, I'm not even gonna try to give to somebody. This one's just gonna go away, seriously. No more negativity. I've got one thing left in here and it's something that I absolutely adore. I figured I had to finish on a positive note because, whoa, I can't stand not liking so many things. This is one of my favorites. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. This one's in Fig, by the way. I got this as part of a special set at Christmas time. Um, that had four different things in it. It had this one, a chocolate honey one, which is really nice as well, a one called Chihuahua, and a different formula called Lady Balls, which is a bright red. But this, I get so much use out of this, and I don't just wear it by itself. This is it by itself. Mwah. Um, basically the technique I use to put this on, and it's a little sponge kind of a applicator kind of deal. You can see I use it all the time. I've got it all smeared up out there. But a little bit comes out the top. It's a little spongy thing. You swipe it on. Then I make sure I've got it just where I want it. Give it a good blot and do it again. And then after that second coat starts to dry a little bit after a few seconds, blot it again. You get really super long lasting coverage. It feels nice. It doesn't feel super moisturizing, but it doesn't feel really drying either like a lot of the liquid ones do because it's not really a matte, it's just more of a long wearing. Um, this is a nice sort of a pink color and sometimes I'll do this and cover it with like a glitter color or take a cheapy gloss that I have and put some gloss on it if I want to be like all glossy and sparkly and stuff. I also put a little bit of some really sort of iridescent, a 93 cent lipstick by the way that I got from Wet n Wild that I really like and I'll put that over it just in the middle, sort of an ombre look. This has been an awesome, awesome purchase. I love this formula. Too Faced, keep it up with this guy. Yes, adore. Okay, one positive thing after all those negative things and the kitty bag is no longer a bag of doom. It's empty and I'm gonna put something I really love right back in there. Hope you enjoyed the review today. Anything you'd like me to try out, I've got some Sephora stuff coming this way so we might be talking about that a little bit later. Yes. Uh, just let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe and uh, let me know what you think of these products. Have you tried them before? Have you had a different experience than I did? Hey, maybe you did. I'll also have links to the products down below just in case you want to go check them out yourself. You never know. Stop by again for Good Stuff Mondays and my take on Thursdays and even more reviews on Tuesdays. See you soon.